Hi, good to see you. Welcome to another video on Sistema Kadochnikova presented to you by Transition CRT. Today I will be discussing the principle of cantilevers. Cantilevers are quite common in our daily life. Think about balconies that are actually attached to vertical walls we encounter on our buildings. Think about diving boards we find at our swimming pools, but also cranes or even bridges are also perfect examples of cantilevers that we will encounter. To explain the principle of the cantilever, I would like to have uh, Alex's assistance. So if we look at the definition of a cantilever, we're talking about a certain rigid body that is attached to a vertical object, for instance, like a flagpole that is attached to a wall, with certain um, characteristics. If you'd be so kind to extend your arm. Either it is a bridge or a balcony, the anchor point usually will be attached to a, a vertical feature. For in this, in this case, it is Alex. Meaning that at the anchor point, the cantilever is quite strong and has a very strong base of support. On the far extent of the cantilever, this amount of force or pressure that can be withstand by this uh, lever will obviously be quite, uh, quite low. Therefore, manipulation of the cantilever on the far extent will require less force, uh, less strength to gain a certain effect. Manipulating it at the anchor point position will require, um, for instance, the breakdown of its entire structure in order to be effective. To show you how it works, I will initially uh, work with Alex's punch that will be thrown towards me, uh, where I will show you that with the minimum of um, power or strength that I will be able to uh, generate on his arm, I will be able already to uh, not only disorientate him and deflect his punch, but also eventually to break structure. So here we go. Basically just by tipping his fist with my fingers, which is quite over exaggerated in this example, but it is just to show you the amount of force that I require to manipulate the far end of this cantilever, um, I am able to already uh, affect him. What I would do right now is I will try to manipulate uh, not his fist, which is the far extent of the, um, of the, um, the cantilever, but I will now try to manipulate him exactly at the anchor point, so basically the shoulder. To do so, I will have to break his structure to be infective. Here we go. The difference right here is that I have to actually get to his shoulder. So I have to minimize the combat distance in order to get to his shoulder, to get to that anchor point where the cantilever is attached. Like the arm, which is a cantilever, same goes for the legs. So by manipulating the feet, which are the far extent of the cantilever, which is the leg, we are also able to change the trajectory um, increase or reduce speed, and eventually also break construction uh, or break his entire buildup. So here we go. Thank you, Alex. So basically, by certain manipulation of the trajectory, with a final deflection just before his feet touch the ground, I actually manipulate his cantilever, deny him a certain base of support, and break his entire structure. That'll be all for the uh, cantilevers. Uh, thanks for watching, and one key point to take away when working with cantilevers, to make it more easy for you guys to remember, everybody drinks beer, so whenever you buy a crate of beer, remember one thing, you don't carry a crate of beer down there, but right here. See you next time.